Really looking forward to the Le Mans 24 hours of 2012. It, it's a great event and uh, the fans really uh, enjoy themselves. It's a, a carnival atmosphere and, and a tough, very fast race in itself. And so a great challenge as a driver and as a person and to, to make your way through uh, the weather, the day and the night and the challenges of the traffic and the, the ever-changing racetrack. And, at least 30 pit stops will be scheduled in and hopefully no other problems. So to do all of that, and I've been to Le Mans many times, uh, eight or nine I believe it is, uh, but this will be very special because I'm sharing a car with my son. So at certain times I'm either going to be jumping in the seat when he's just stepping out or helping do the seat belts when he gets in. He's 21 years old. So. Uh, we have raced together a couple of times, it's been uh, successful, but this will be the big one for us to share a car at Le Mans. I just love racing, I can't, I can't let it go, I, the adrenaline rush that you get. I mean, doing live television, as I do uh, for Formula One and have done for 15 years now, is, is a good feeling, but it's not the same as sitting on the grid and you know, heading into the first corner and, fighting with other drivers so I need to race and uh, I'm 52 years old now but I can't get it out of my system at all uh, and that's why you know, I'm looking forward to with Nissan going back uh, back to Le Mans. I've uh, driven the Daytona 24 hours recently and we went very well in that. I drive cars at Goodwood, some of the old timers, a beautiful Ferrari 250 GTO worth tens of millions of dollars and so I, I enjoy some of the old timers but I still have a good speed. I drove a Formula One car recently for television work and you just, it's strange, you jump in the cockpit and it, you feel at home. You think, this is where I belong. And uh, there's always this doubt, oh, can I still do this in, in a Formula One car? But two or three laps later, you realize that, you know, it's, no, it's like swimming or riding a bicycle. You don't forget how to do it. Well, what's wonderful about a program like we had with Nissan in 1997 is, you're starting with a clean sheet of paper with a new chassis and integrating an engine and gearbox and you go off and do 24 hour tests, now they're hard. It's when you've got the adrenaline of a, of a race weekend for 24 hours, that's, it's already a tough event. When you go and test for 24 hours, it's really, you know, to get your head around that when you're not racing anybody else. But sometimes you'll even do a 36 hour test to try to prove the reliability. Uh, we had a few teething problems, but uh, then I remember we were fastest at the test day for Le Mans, and uh, it went pretty well. We didn't win the race, uh, otherwise I'd remember exactly uh, what happened. But uh, so, so that the satisfaction of creating something that's on the weight limit, that's fast down those long straights on the Mulsanne uh, sections, and uh, can cope with. You know, you've got to have three different drivers in it, driving styles, different sizes, different demands, and working with a lot of mechanics and engineers who are also in an endurance event themselves, because you do a warm-up at Le Mans on a Saturday morning, uh, and then if you finish the race, it's Sunday evening. It's really a 36-hour event anyway, having been there the whole week. So it's a, it's a tough event, and you end up with a great rapport. And as you're going around the track, you become at one with the car. You, you, every little noise that it makes you become familiar with and, and the feeling sometimes it moves around at high speed on the straight because it's the Mulsanne is crowned to drain like a normal road and the, the trucks make tracks and your car moves around and you just become so comfortable with this car. Well, I see Yen Lammers uh, around at the racetracks and uh, Wayne Taylor too. I saw him at the Daytona 24 Hours. His son races too now. So it's quite a small world. I think it, whatever you're involved in, it tends to be a, a, a small key number of people that drive, drive an industry. And, uh, so, and in endurance racing, luckily experience counts. You know, Formula One is all about youth and uh, supreme fitness. In sports car racing, you need a slightly more mature approach to it. and. Uh, and think about the long game. So they were two great uh, sports card races that we had in. And you know, we, we had, uh, I can't even remember if we ran two or three cars in the event, but I can picture the car when it was just a frame, when we were building it up and they were positioning the engine. And it really is from the beginning, you know, this thing is created from a clean sheet of paper and its sole purpose is Le Mans. That's what I love about Le Mans cars. They're so elegant, they're so 
uh, aerodynamic and, and you, you need the low drag to get on the straights, you need, but you need the reliability as well. It's a, a Formula One Grand Prix season in one day in terms of the mileage, that's how tough it is. And so you have this, uh, this paradox where you, you need a car to be light and powerful and, and fast, but it's also got to be very durable and take a lot of pounding across the curbs and maybe a little touch. You, you will always have contact with slower cars, especially when they're in the, in the primary category. So I remember you know, that development process, working with the drivers, working with the engineers, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's always a pleasure. It's, and it's lovely to see it. Uh, to see it again, haven't seen it since uh, 1997. My son Alex, uh, he's very realistic, he's finished his university degree, so he's kept his education going through his racing career. He's in Formula 2, doing very well, he's, he's a top five contender there, and been on the podium several times, had a great couple of races at Monza recently. So he's developing nicely and he's, he's super fit, as you'd imagine all the young drivers are now. And he's got, but he's got a good CV behind him. And I'd like to introduce him to sports car racing. It gave me so much pleasure, so much success. I was the world sports car champion and I've won virtually all of the significant uh, sports car races around the world. So Alex, I'm sure would like to play a part in that. I'm sure he's thinking of Formula One, but it's really tough. There are only 24 seats now. And, and so you need to spend, I don't know, five or six million pounds just to prepare yourself for Formula One of somebody's money. And then you need another 10 million pounds to get a seat in Formula One when you're as a young driver. So you have to understand that there's probably a hundred of them perfectly prepared and, and conditioned, ready to drive Formula One with one or two seats available. So you have to be realistic on these things and uh, that's, that's why I want to introduce Alex to Le Mans. And then, well, you know, being a little bit selfish, it's a great opportunity for me to join him and get to race there again as well with Nissan.